Hello, everyone. This is uh, Bill from uh, CNC Router Tips uh, Group, and uh, one of the members posted something recently where they were asking how to uh, create a knife edge in Aspire. They wanted to carve away uh, a good portion of the material before uh, they began to grind the knife to its final shape, and they wondered how you do it in, in uh, Aspire. And here is, um, you know, a picture of what it was that he was looking to create. Now, I don't have the talents or skill or the time to, to create, uh, recreate this on my own. So I went into Aspire and just created a generic knife blade to show him the process. And here are some of the shapes. I know it looks more like a dolphin than a knife blade, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Each one of these lines uh, was drawn uh, from a segment of straight lines using the line tool and then using node editing to curve them. And I'll, sh I'll show you real quick how I did one. So I would start point, you know, approximately where I want the lines to go. Looks nothing like what you want, but then I would hit the end key to turn on node editing, drag a uh, box around them and hit S for smooth. Now I'm able to take the handles and edit the shape that I want for each of these nodes, um, I can change the shape fairly easily and, um, you know, do that to get to my final shape. So that's how I created that. And each one of these lines that I created is a separate line. They're not joined together. And that's on purpose so that I can use the two rail sweep. Well, the edge of the knife typically slants from this point to this point. You know, it's thickest here, thinnest there. So uh, my thought was that you draw a slanted line. If you just draw a slanted line, though, you won't get what you want. You'll end up with a very flat profile um, using the two rail sweep command. So you need one that has um, some elevation to it and an edge. And so I put this edge here. Now, to use the two rail sweep, We'd click on this tool, the two rail sweep tool. When it opens, we'd select the two lines that we want to use. Hold down the shift key to get the second one. And then we hit use selections because those are the ones we want. Now you can change where the start point is and the end point is in the direction they, they go. Um, and you can change that by right clicking on either of the line and you can reverse a rail. Now, this will give us a twisted feature because the start point on this rail is up here and uh, the start point on the other rail is back here. So I want to go and fix that again so we don't have to worry about that. So both rails are going in the same direction. So I'm using the selected rails and now I'm going to select, um, here, let, let's start again here. So two rail sweep. Select my two rails. Okay, they're going in the right direction. Now I can select my cross section and that's gonna be swept between the two. And I'm gonna have it scale across the span because this varies in width as it goes. If it doesn't, uh, if I don't select that, then it will keep it all one size and it won't be constrained by the, the knife. So I'm gonna hit apply. And you can see it created a knife edge that tapers. Now this may be exaggerated and you'd have to um, do some, some tweaking with it, but it, it gets you basically what you, you're looking for. So you create that one. And that's one component. You can do the same thing with the other two rails. You just select them both, use the selection, and select the uh, the part again, and hit apply. And there are the two uh, knife edge surfaces created for you. 
and you could also create a um, a form that will fill in between these two points. We're not going to get into that right now. But that can get you your, your edges to, to work with. And you can change the basic size and shape of those edges. For instance, uh, if you click that one and hit node editing uh, for, for this line. Uh, you could vary the shape of this. Uh, let's see. Just a bit. And then you could select these lines and hit smooth. And you can smooth it out. to give you a slightly different shape. So we're going to turn these components off and then we're going to create another one uh, using this new shape. Select your two rails, use the selection, grab this one, hit apply. Interestingly enough, that one reversed. It has the thick edge out in front instead of in the inside. So, let's see. At any rate, this gives you something to play with. Um, I hope that this makes sense to you. Um, and that you can use this to explore it a little bit better. This is Bill Griggs from CNC Router Tips. Thanks a lot.